Okay, so let's talk about getting an iGoogle page, which is basically a personalized home page that also operates as a Google search engine. And the, the beautiful thing about that is we want to create a page that brings the information to us instead of the other way around. So if you look up here, notice here, we're going to go ahead and sign in. And this is where you can sign in with that same uh, account, username and password that you used for your Gmail account. So when I sign in here, notice then at the top, it tells me ed 422 student at gmail.com. So that's how I know that I'm logged in. Now that makes me um, able to access all of the Google services without having to log in again. And so notice we are on the typical Google homepage where I can do a search here. What we want to do now is we want to go to, this out of the way here, we want to go to iGoogle. And by doing that, basically iGoogle is very simply a way to personalize our web page so that information comes to us. And you get a lot of default stuff that pops up here when it first comes in. So notice at, at the base level, it's still Google. It's still searchable, gives you the advanced search, the language tools, the Google search, feeling lucky, etc. Um, but what we can do now is you have all of these options. We can add date. The, uh, we can add date and time. You can have YouTube show up in here, uh, CNN.com. These were all defaults that, that it gave me here. Uh, your Gmail can come straight straight to you. So the idea here is that we want things to come to us instead of us to have to go out and look for things. Um, so if I want these items, that's great. If I don't want these items, I can just simply click on the mint, the arrow here, and I can delete this gadget. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the weather gadget. I'm going to leave my Gmail here. Let's say I kind of want the date and time, but I don't want it in the middle. I want it over on the left. Well, it's very simple. I grab the colored bar at the top, and I can just simply drag it over here and drop it in there. And if I want my Gmail to be in the middle at the top, I just drag it to where I want it to be. That's the beauty of using this type of um, web page because it's really easy to move things around. YouTube, I don't necessarily need that on my home page, so I'm going to delete this gadget. Okay, I'm going to delete that gadget. CNN, maybe not so much right now, so I'll delete this gadget. So let's start very basic. And right now I just simply have the date and time, and I have my Gmail. So we need to add more things. What do I want to do? Well, I cruise on over here where it says Add Gadgets, and I click right there. And here's where then I can add just a multiple of things uh, to my page. You've got categories over here, editor's picks, celebrity picks, news tools, communication. So you have all these options. Um, my daughter is really into these silly little hamsters and turtles, but it, it kind of makes her happy. So you could, let's say we want to add this pet hamster to our page. So you would just simply click the Add It Now. And it says that it's added. So what we want to do now is go up to the top here and we can go back to our Google home page. So there is my hamster. And I can move the hamster over here. So now I have not only date and time, but I have Gmail, and now I have a hamster. And pretty much that's all you get with the hamster. So it might be great for my 11-year-old, but not so great for you as an adult. So I could then say, all right, great, but I'm going to go ahead and delete that gadget. So I can go back to add gadgets and I can add all kinds of things. So think about what are the things that you would like to come with you. Let's say you have a Yahoo account. Let's do the search for gadgets. I have Yahoo. So I can get my Yahoo mail sent to me. I can get driving directions from Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo Finance. So whatever it is, um, you can add it, and what, what you need to know, too, is in the iGoogle, um, in the, the Google Marketplace, basically, these are just users or people that are creating most of these things. Notice that's by Nelson uh, Menendez, um, Yahoo Mail by uh, Menar. So some of these things work better than others, and, and honestly, it's just um, hit or miss sometimes, or you see what's, you know, maybe look under top picks, etc., etc. So... Um, you can add as many gadgets as you want. I can add my Yahoo Mail there, let's say. Um, I want to add, let's say I want, you're a Facebook user, so you want Facebook to come to you. 
I can search for Facebook and guess what you've got all these options of having Facebook and again they're all different gadgets so you want to you know just play with them and, and uh, look at the ratings see who's how many people are using them you know, this one right here 25,000 users and it's got a pretty good rating 112,000 users with a three-star rating so um, you know you want to pay attention to those kind of things um, so let's say we'll add this one okay so we've added that um, so you can add as many gadgets as you want I'm going to show you later on how to um, RSS things which is basically having feeds of either news or other blogs come right to your page but we'll do that later in the semester um, and the last thing we can do is add a theme to our iGoogle page so you've got all kinds of themes most appropriate some of them sadly um, not always appropriate but you can cruise through all these different categories um, animals nature sports you know all these cool options um, I like the artist ones I usually cruise through the artist ones and see what's new so and you can always change these but um, say we go with the radio head I'm gonna add that and now I have this cool new theme and what it also does is it allows so I can change that theme from Radiohead but notice by adding the Facebook and Yahoo they tend things tend to add at the top of my page so let's say I want to move that over there I want to move Facebook down to the middle I want my, I want my Gmail above Facebook so if I'm at work it looks like I'm actually working just drag it up there and drop it in now notice then you can you log into Yahoo you log into Facebook and Actually, I'll do it just to show you. You can log into these things, and your information will come to you, which is very cool. And so there's my information. So now you've got your Facebook coming to you. Um, Again, so you can do as much or as little of this as you want, but I would like to, to have you design your iGoogle page so that it, it works well for you. Um, and it's something that we'll use throughout the semester. So have fun with your iGoogle page.